welcome to this place. Um, autumn and balance um, um, episodes on Killer Hat Smack. It's, it's going to be a long season. It's a seasonal one. Mm. I am disappointed in Balky Governor for supporting Killer Hat Smack. Autumn. Governor Samuel Autumn of Vainway has expressed disappointment over comments by his Boucher State counterpart, Bala Muhammad, who blamed him for what he termed negative perception of Fulani elders when he spoke of the current security situation in the country. Autumn said while he will not want to take issues while the Boucher State Governor, he finds it shocking that a colleague who took the oath of office as he also did to protect and preserve the constitution of the nation now takes the lead in violating provisions of the same constitution by calling for lawlessness. The governor stated this through his spokesman, Tava Akashe, noting that the most shocking part of Governor Mohammed's statement was where he defended Hartsman for bearing arms, quoting him as saying, they have no option but to carry AK-47 because the society and the government are not protecting them. Akashi said, Governor Autumn wonders which section of the law the Bauchi state governor cited to support Hartsman's free movement around the country with sophisticated weapons. I want to tell you more, help us tell him. He recalls that it was the same governor, Muhammad, who once said on national television that a Fulani man is a global citizen and therefore does not need a visa to come to Nigeria and that the forest belongs to hearts men. Can you imagine? Can you just imagine this same Bala again? Ah! Okay. Governor Autumn wonders if his friend and colleague in Bauchie State knows a thing or two about the horrendous activities of herders and parts of the country to warrant the emotional defense and justification that he has repeatedly put forward in their favor. Hmm. About Muhammad's comment that there, there are very people freely doing business in Bauchie and elsewhere. Governor Autumn stated that Benway indigents and Bauchi have been law abiding and do not carry arms to attack their hosts. He noted that Fulani, as well as many other Nigerians residing in Benway, who respect the laws of the land, also live peacefully with their hosts. Governor Autumn said his administration had not given away law abiding Nigerians in Benway State. Akashi said, the governor finds it unfortunate that those who are trusted with people's mandate and should ordinarily uphold truth and justice have chosen to mislead the country. It stresses the need for leaders to be cautious and retrace their steps which are capable of leading the country to anarchy. We are in anarchy already. We are in anarchy already. Mm. Bala. Bala, bala, no bala, bala. Hmm. Let's shop around for people's comments. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. Somebody said, "This is what happens when people are over civilized. For several decades, we refused to tell full any truths about themselves. We were too civilized to go there." Chief amongst our deliberate omissions was and still is how we have allowed these colonists who are foreign to all parts of what is called Nigeria to call themselves indigenous. We probably believe that only Onibu can be a colonist, not willing to admit that colonization is a process, not a future of skin color. Well, this is the end result. Have you all hmm, hmm, any man in human skin? Well said. It goes beyond annoying uh, 
allowing you to be indigent, but willingly entrusting them to power. Mm. Boucher State Government supplied 50% of the little guns carried by Fulani headsmen in Nigeria. The men should be investigated. The governor also owns several thousands of cattle the Fulani headsmen carried all over Nigeria. Governor Bala is only out to protect his economic interests while he uses public money to do so. The governor is one of those dumb illiterates who we we'll have no business in being a, in government, but for Nigeria, that is a zero. Yes, so, yes, so, my bro, yes, bro, yes, bro, Spartan. And um, we have another one. The Bauchi government did not take the oath of office to preserve and protect any Bauchi citizen. His oath of office was only to shield him from EFCC and remains who he is. A true dollar. Can you can you imagine? Can you imagine? I mean, how can in the twenty first century I can say that had had us have to carry AK forty seven? What for, for protection? Protection for what? From who? From who? Who should be carrying AK forty seven? Eh? If you are saying the hardest of um, cows should be carried AK forty seven. Are they the only people practicing on animal husbandry? What about those people doing poultry? Should they be carrying AK-49? What about the people that there is these pigs? They go into pigs, eh? What about the people taking care of horses? I mean, these are there are other people too, farmers, other businesses, private, doing husband animal husbandry, and they are not they are not because of that killing other people. Ah, uh, they provided for their for their stock. They look after their animals. The northern part has more horses than cattle, and I don't. I, you don't. You won't even see the horses. How come they can ranch the horses, but they can't ranch the cows? There must be an hidden agenda. There are poultry. Imagine let let all 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 poultry farmers, private poultry farmers, let them open their their poultry and let all the chicken out. Eh? It's just ridiculous. What do they mean by they need land for ranching? Also, those poultry farmers that bought land to keep their livestock, to keep their chicken stock. They don't need government support. Or those people that, that they are there as horses, that, that made ranches for their horses. Are they carrying AK-47? Or people that are into fisheries? Eh? That are into, they are just, I don't know, it's just flimsy excuses. They have no reason whatsoever to carry AK-47. How much more them kidnapping, raping, vandalizing, victimizing, traumatizing their host community? They're just horrible people. That is just the plain truth. Where in the Constitution does it say that they can ha carry AK-47? Or licensed AK-47. I mean, I mean, where did, where are they getting it from? I'm quite sure that 9.9 percent, even 100 percent of those AK-47s are not registered. So, I mean, it's it's, it's just so fair. It is so unreal. And each time they do this Mayeti Ala, this this bala, and all the Mayeti Ala, they should be arrested and investigated. But it's never gonna happen. Because Bubu is their life patron. Sultan of Sokoto is, is on their breast of board of trustees. We have all the other people too in all over the country, the political elites are giving them cattle to to care for. So they are the ones they are the ones killing us. They are all in the normal face. And there is more to it that meets the eye. There is more to it that meets the eye. They must be up to no good for them to, 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 I mean, to decide to go in the forest, to go in the forest. Maybe they are driving away the farmers from the land because of what is underneath the land. Maybe because of the mineral resources underneath the land. That is why they are, they are killing them and driving them away. Because this the finalization and um, conquest, uh, conquest, whatever, is not going to work. It won't work. They don't own the land. 
they don't want can you imagine somebody like Bala saying they own the land that the Fulani are global citizens who knows them you will not want tani mo ki no fun awon pe ki lo ruko ki lo ruko ase won ni alaro eh apa won fun e e e mu nu jo to o do ti apa fo tun na ni male gbe yan apa won fun lani ko ni fun lani abikin la na wa so da won tin ko gidi to dupo gbe bo lowo to dupo won lagbara abon to dupo e e bubu bubu o ni kan ma lo that is just it. Because I that. Oh. So that is it. Uh, mm. I leave this with you. I just drop this here. Till I come your way again. Bye.